And here's what was inside. Shut your shells. shells. Ample, ample. A oh, only two. I thought there were four. Well, there are only two. So that's what a wonderful prize, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go before that thing slaughters me. Actually, no. I have to go back anyway because I want to save. So, uh, now is a great time to save because it's been a while since I saved. I know it's you been a while since I saved. <laughs> Michael joined right Yeah, Michael joined from the other room. Wow, last time you saved was a while ago. Yeah, a little while, like 30 minutes. Oh, how far should we play tonight? I don't think I'll. I don't think I have the energy in it to me to beat the whole game tonight. Uh. Let me run away from that. Next pyramid head appearance. I have an idea of one. We'll stop. Probably go another part or so. Got it. Oh, there was a person. Yeah, I know. Here it is. There's a painting. This is weird. It's a painting, but the arms are real. Oh, that that could be uh, concerning. Could be concerning. It is concerning. Anyway, so let's go ahead and use them. Just put them on our fingers, and then the door unlocks for some reason. And there's nobody behind the door. Nobody there. What a spooktacular spook fest. Oh, I like this. There's no other ground inside of something. I took the director's key. Go into the museum. Is that how you spell director's key? I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Oh, he just spells the weird. He's poor speller. Okay. So not everyone's a great speller like you, Alonzo. I'm a horrible speller. That's why I use a uh, spell check. Everyone uses spell check, even the good spellers, like me. Like Kitty Cat, K A T. I once got second place in a spelling bee. <laughs> I, I got I got to the finals for a spelling bee one time. I, I got to the finals for a spelling bee, and uh, as I was like, it was like we like every school in the town, all two of them, mm -hmm. you know, like came together and we all went. So it's like, oh, the top eighteen of both the school districts. It's like a hundred kids for grade for four grades. <laughs> And I was up there spelling. I screwed up both my words immediately and it was out. I, met, I failed my practice word and I failed my real word. And I was like the first one out. I was so embarrassed. Anyway. It happens. I spelled, they gave me bonanza as my first word. So I didn't know how to spell bonanza. I thought it was B-A-N-A-N-Z-A. Anyway. He's really following you. It's like you're waiting for something. Well, shit. Shit. I gotta hurry. Cause she can die. There he is. Yep, he's after you. Okay. Oh, oh this would be so scary in real life. Open the door, hurry. What if the door opens and Pyramid's in there and the door won't close again? Daddy! No! Daddy! Ooh. Freedom! So, hidden secret, James is actually Shadow the Hedgehog. He's defeated once again. Man, James is going going through a rough day. That part's always sad. Yeah. Sad music playing. Just a lone piano. And a lone James Sunderland. And a sad, spooky James Sunderland. 
Anyway, so we're still in the nightmare hospital, but there's only one door open now. It's this one. Right, old map. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. It's like, um, okay. <laughs> hey, Bernie Street. We were on that earlier. Gonzalez Mexican Restaurant. That'd be nice to go to sometime. Too bad Silent Hills in Maine. Maine. All the way in Maine. And I got the hospital lobby key, so now the, the front door is locked from the outside, apparently. And that's somebody else important. Who is it? It's Eddie. Yes, that was definitely Eddie. You can tell by his nimble footsteps. <laughs> I like I like their witty comments or like they're like, like I don't have time for this. Oh, that's a safe point, but I don't want to go to it right now. Cause I don't need it. You don't need to save, because you're a badass. You're Sutherland the Hedgehog. You know it. Shout out to the Sutherland. But it's upsetting. Wow. But now we're outside when it's night. And James, you're just having a rough one. Well, so now we're outside, and it's maybe, dark. Maybe out. we think we get some peace and quiet now. Not quite, because now there are nurses outside. I'm not sure why they'd be outside, but whatever. There are nurses outside. They're helping by uh, keeping the streets safe. Pretty much. They don't want clowns popping up out of nowhere. Hey, it's not spooked over anymore, so there will no be there will be no clowns anymore. That thing died down kind of fast after Batman took the streets. I never saw any clown. Yeah, neither did I. It's kind of sad. Excuse me. So yeah, this next part is um next segment of the game is kind of a long uh, long segment of just running to the next area. Let me make sure I'm going in the right direction. Yep, I'm right. In a very dark town. Yeah, it's really dark outside. I mean, there would at least be light from the moon. Well, if it's foggy outside. Oh, yeah, you're right. And never maybe mind. the moon is on the other side. Mm-hmm. Okay, Because there's never not always mind. a moon. And obviously there are no street lights on right oh, now. Oh, they are in Maine, so it's a different area in general. I don't know if that has to do with anything. It's still on Earth. But, but it's a different location on the globe, mud jigger. I suppose. Anyway, this part's a little spooky. Because you don't really get to see these things too easily. But they'll stab you through the gate. The grate. Really? So you just gotta be careful. But look at these things closely if you can see them. Because they look a little similar to something we'll see next time. You see oh, those? shit. I never noticed that until after I played Silent Hill 3. That, oh wow, you're right. Did you notice that? They're yeah. like the same they're like the same similar creature. Yeah, you're right, they are. They're technically not the same thing, they're very similar, but they're not the same creature. they're not closures. Mm-hmm. I wish it would let me see. Yeah, look at that. Same design idea. Oh, it's so scary. I'm not scary, but just creepy. Now it's unlocked. Wait, oh, I didn't go through. I thought I went through and it was loading the next area. You're just like waiting there like, okay then, time to move. Never mind, don't yeah, wanna. I, I, I'm like, wait, why am I still here? Anyway. This part's cool. There are some goodies around. Good D. Yeah. There's a car. Yeah, there's a car. There's a trailer. And a trailer. I 
inside. You can go inside the trailer? You can go inside the trailer. I thought it was just there for the looks. Yeah, this is optional. Oh. This says, oh, we have Bar Neely's. There is an, an extra unlockable right here. I don't think I unlocked it. Mm -hmm. It's like the hyper spray, but I've. it's like really hard to unlock it. But whatever. Whatever. You have to like unlock the game in like a super complicated and step complicated, by step way, way. complicated way to unlock it. And I'm not even sure what it does. It like kills everything one hit, maybe. I don't know. Uh I might as well stop at Barneley's just for the for the lulls. It's kinda it's kinda it has cool stuff in it. Like nothing too what the hell? Sorry, I'm like I'm trying to like look around and remember where I'm at. Yeah. While also play. You know, I think I have Sony. I have I have the ammo multiplier on right now, just so I don't have to worry about ammo. Yeah. And I've got like so many bullets, I don't even need it. But I keep picking them up anyway. You can unload. I bet I have like 600 bullets at least. Let me make sure I'm going the right place. Here we go. Don't miss. Don't want to miss Neely's bar. Neely's. Yeah, this is optional too. You don't have to come here. It's just interesting. Interesting place. And they're gonna follow me if I don't get in here quick. It's not opening. Here it is. There we go. Just hearing, just hearing that as you're trying to get into the door, it's always freaky. You can come in here in the in the regular daytime mm -hmm. too. Oh, there is stuff. If you really want to die, Mary. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Okay. So, That's and not... then this. There was a hole here. It's gone now. People say, oh, that's a reference to Silent Hill 4. But this game was made before Silent Hill 4. And mm -hmm. Silent Hill 4 is connected afterwards. So I'm not sure what that originally was supposed to mean. Mm -hmm. and I, I honestly don't know. I honestly have no idea what it means. But whatever. Right now we're There's going to... There's a hole here. The, 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 those things still work, though. The, the, the traffic lights actually still work. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. That... It, it took me a few times to notice, because it will change after a while, but I don't feel like looking right now. We're waiting. Yeah, I don't want to wait. <laughs> Ugh, they're walking closer, I don't like it. You can just hear them getting closer and closer as they pitter-patter. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Gonzalez's Mexican Restaurant. You like that place, don't you? It sounds pretty good. Too bad I'll never go. <sighs> the Sound Hills is spooked down. Yeah. So, Sound Hill 2 only exists because of the events that happened in the first game. Mm -hmm. Because all of what he's going through right now is like happening because of the spiritual te pressure around the town. Mm -hmm. That happened because of uh, the spiritual power of the town became twisted. Hold on. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. Part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park, at the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but I did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. But if you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it so much. And I don't think I can go this way. I think this place is, I think this road's blocked off from earlier. We'll find out. Actually, no. Earlier, remember earlier? Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's broken up there, oh. but. Now I can go back to the park. Shit, oh, that, that always freaks me out. This jump. <laughs> it flies over. There's, there's another spot around here, or if you walk, 
if you're just chill, if you're just walking next to one of the buildings, mm -hmm. one will fall off the roof and just land on the ground just like that. Oh wow! It, it, except it'll land. It won't like jump over like that. It'll like literally just fall from completely off the front, of the, off the top of the screen. And just flip you out. It's spooky. It big spooky. I don't think I can go this way, but I will anyway. For the experience. Because it's fun. Oh wait, there's something up here though. More enemies. I kill this because I don't want to deal with it right now. There's some more lore. Double tap. Right here. Oh. It's a dead body again. You've seen better days. There's a memo pad on the ground. I was gonna write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that'll help me some out, out, out some out. If you're in this, it probably means I'm already dead. <laughs> I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain. But my friend said he didn't see anything. That's true, what does it mean? Does that mean that I saw it was an illusion? But whether that demon was eight, that eight human beings is real, or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed of, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. It seems that they're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd better, you're better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. If you're going to try to fight them, it's most important to just relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're crazy with fear. Take good aim, then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. I think most of those creatures can be killed, even if they are tougher than people. So this is a tutorial like how to kill the enemies. Yeah, you can come here earlier, but I'm doing it now. Run away. Is the best one. Run away, 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 run away. <laughs> and that's it. That's a good combat. Yeah, I remember at the very beginning when I was looking for the apartment key and I found on that guy. Yeah. Generally, they expect you to kind of look all around the place and then you'll find him then. All right, then. But I always just rush up and go get the key. It's different kind of seeing him in the dark. Yeah, it's spooky. Well, right now it's spooky because everything's like pitch black. Yeah. And I'm going the right way now. Now we're uh, walking back to where the apartment is. We're kind of walking in front of that area again. Because earlier, because I'm not really exploring around too much right now. Uh huh. Because um, I'm trying to just kind of get through the game and show you so, some stuff, but like. Because early, here's uh, the apartment again. But this time, this time you can't go in. Oh wow. I can remember how early you could. Now it's broken. This wasn't wasn't here earlier. The door that wakes in darkness. Opening into nightmares. I think it's getting closer, Ethan. Yeah. Okay, now it's, it's it's gone. It's gone. I got you. I'm just hearing you as you're reading and grabbing stuff. Like, it's, I think it's getting closer. Yeah, I know. I'd knock over my water bottle. I had to save it. This is our last long segment outside. We don't really spend much more time outside in this game, sadly. And uh -oh. you can go around and look at all the houses and stuff. There's kind of some cool decorations, but I'm not. I don't really have time to do that right now. <laughs> it's a nightmare nurse. Screw that. Nightmare nurse. Yeah, there there's some that are like normal, but then there's some that are like dark and bloody. Mm -hmm. That was a dark and bloody one. That was spooky. Like that one, see? First of all, I have to go. Remember how, uh, there's another Nightmare Nurse? Remember how, uh, that one message said, uh, oh, I buried the praying woman, you know? Yeah. Uh, so now I've got to find that. Because there have been a few messages that were discussing that. I always tend to forget where this is. It's kind of tricky to find it here. Gosh, 
Where is it? Ethan's lost. It's not too hard to find. You just have to look around for a while. In one of these areas. Two hours later. Nope, that is not it. One eternity later. One eternity later. That's not it either. <laughs> There's something over there, but I don't really need it. It took so long they had to find a new voicer. And now. Uh, pointing. They had to find. They had to hire a new one. A new one, yeah. What's this say? Uh, oh, uh, what's this? Slippery, wind, wet, or frosty. Oh, I never heard that sign before. Probably right here. Or is this the same way I came before? Yeah, oh. there it is. Uh, this would be a long part because we're just going to try to finish up our segment outside. I remember this part. When I was younger. I, I watched this for the first time. I remember, like, what if I, if, what if this is actually me, like, digging out in the middle of the night? Mm hmm. Like, any, at any point, a monster could just come up behind me, you know? <laughs> Inside, I'm gonna use this wrench. Cause the, it, there's a bolt on it, so mm -hmm. I can't. It's a key. There we go. Substance so we have your way to hide something. Yeah, I know. Like they gave they gave hints towards it, but otherwise, it'd be tricky to find that. It still made you really work for that. In fact, I think I think if you actually do look at that later or earlier in the game, because mm -hmm. this is the same place we came from with Maria earlier. Yeah, we're backtracking. I think if you come there earlier, it won't. There's either nothing there, or there is a packed a hole in the ground, but he doesn't think to dig it up. You mm -hmm. know, he just kind of. He's kind of like, oh, there's something, there's something here. But I don't feel like going to go look for that right now and capture footage for it, so you can leave that up to your imagination. Ethan will do an artist rendition right now. No, I can't. It's a stick figure. <laughs> no, I can't do that. It's too, too much work. <laughs> then edit, edit in a picture, Gramps. <laughs> I guess I can do that. Gramps made into Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill Historical Society. You can read the billboards. It's cool. And there's cars. A lot of cars. A lot of abandoned cars. It's like this town used to be inhabited or something. Yeah, yeah I don't know, because I mean like apparently people are living in the town between the games. I like this one. Look, your ad. Your, <laughs> your ad here. No, apparently well, some people's interpretation is that this is like its own separate kind of world or like different for other people while 99% of the people that, Quiet cocktails. that are in Silent Hill, it's a, it's a normal town. But it's because, you, like you said, the spiritual pressure, it takes that 1% of people and they experience something different than the regular I'm 99%. I'm sure how I feel about that, but it doesn't matter. Anyway... Time to end this long part, and I think we're going to end this segment now, because it's getting pretty late for us here. It's getting late. But, I mean, you guys only have to wait a couple days until uh, this, but this next part, the game is really starting to get deep here. Dude, we still got to finish Sonic Adventure 2. I know we do. <laughs> anyway, join us next time, everybody. All right. All right. Yo, macaroni. Macaroni and cheese. Get out of my shoes.